So there's really only one thing that's better than receiving dividends on just any old consistent basis, and that's receiving dividends every single month. Now, interestingly enough, I just had the great honor and privilege of interviewing Brian Bollinger, the founder of Simply Safe Dividends, and he actually had this to say about monthly paying dividend stocks. Most of the monthly paying stocks are are not good ones. Uh, there's very few that are. It's kind of surprising to me. I'm, maybe it's an administration cost issue to pay monthly. I don't really know. But we have an article out there that actually provides analysis on all of the monthly paying dividend stocks. We technically researched each one of them and had a little write up for all of them. And I tried to rank them from like most favorite to least favorite. Like once you get past like the top three or five out of the list of whatever it is, 60 plus monthly payers that are not funds, at least like it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> so a lot of these companies are highly levered or just like not good businesses to, to be putting your capital in. So now first off, you can catch that entire interview by clicking away to the link down in the pinned comment below. But Secondly, he's right, 100% right. We all have to be very careful about which monthly payers we're actually loading up on. Therefore, today I'm gonna give you three monthly paying dividend stocks that are in fact on the safer side, at least according to the Simply Safe dividend scores that they're dishing out over there on Simply Safe dividends. With that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as mentioned, we're about to run through three dividend stocks, all of which paying monthly dividends. But come the end of this video, I'm actually gonna hit you with a question that I want your honest answers to, and I'll be waiting for your replies down in the comments below. But let's now get kickstarted here with, of course, everyone's favorite monthly paying dividend stock. Also, by the way, rated the safest amongst the safest monthly paying dividend stocks on Simply Safe, Realty Income, ticker symbol O, which is, as I'm sure you all know, a net lease solutions real estate investment trust that has amassed the largest portfolio amongst its peers, tapping out with over 13,000 properties across the United States, Puerto Rico, and the United Kingdom. Not to mention Spain as well, with over 1,300 tenants filling up all of those properties. However, here's the need to knows on this popular REIT. It has been, just like the other two monthly payers on today's list, impacted by the sharp increase in interest rates, which spooked away a lot of investors from REITs given the scares of defaults, and rightfully so. But don't be fooled, invest into great companies and be greatly rewarded. So then do we all trust Realty Income's management team to make the decisions accordingly and ultimately prevail? Well, we can see they did in fact make it through the muck of the market over the last three years, up over 4.7% on the five-year chart. After a steep decline back in 2020, toggling to year to date, we do see that Realty Income is still down by 10%. Again, interest rate related as it trades for $53 per share. But zoom out to see the history of mitigating through the market pains, ebbs and flows, we get over 128% worth of growth. As for analysts, they certainly remain optimistic, forecasting a share price of $57.83 per share, nearly 8% worth of upside. And we also see plenty of buying activity from hedge funds as they scooped up over 248,000 shares worth of this REIT last quarter. But now let's jump right into Simply Safe Dividends for the safety look. Right off the bat, we can see that Realty Income scores an 80, which is not in the highest of percentiles, but we can see their team does believe that any type of dividend cut is unlikely, which is good news considering that the yield is coming in at a strong 5.7%. And the Realty Income team just got that safety score from Simply Safe Dividends on November 21st following the company's earnings. Scrolling down here, we do want to go ahead and take a look at the truth behind the interest rate scares and even the casino acquisition. But overall here, healthy metrics with that payout ratio down at 76% to continue their 54-year dividend streak. And as for the growth, we do see growth across the board here with 5% per year over the last 20 years. Next up, agree or disagree on Agree Realty, ticker symbol ADC, that this REIT is a buy. We are talking about a developer of retail properties, net leased similarly to Realty Income, to industry-leading omni-channel retailers. So in other words, the big box type of retailers like Walmart, Home Depot, TJ Maxx, Tractor Supply, CVS, and for those of you living on the East Coast, a memory lane favorite, Wawa. Either way, we of course have Agree Realty down on the year over 12% trading for $58 per share. And while many investors are doubling down on Realty Income, Agree follows suit on a very similar trajectory as we see that Agree also has battled through the tough years on a green note up over 15% over the last five years and more impressively up over 224% over the last decade. Now, when it comes to the analysts, insiders, and hedge funds, we have optimism starting with our analysts who forecast over 11% worth of upside here, coming up to a share price of $65.38 per share. 
along with insiders from their CEO himself, of course. Then we also have hedge funds that are making their money moves on Agree Realty as well. So perhaps it is certainly the time to begin to add it to your watch list. Jumping over to Simply Safe Dividends, we get a safety score of a 70 at a solid 5.03% dividend yield. Now, in regards to their payout ratio, it's at 73%. Worthy to note that their net debt to EBITDA here is at 4.49 and on a streak here with 11 years worth of dividend history. As for their dividend growth, we do see that it cuts back in 2010 before Agree saddled back up. That ultimately set them up for only 2% worth of growth over the last 20 years, but 7% and better looks over the last five years. Now, investors, you just got two very solid monthly paying dividend stock ideas out of me. And before I cover the third, I noticed something that was actually quite disheartening. And that's that 71.8% of you just aren't subscribed. Now we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So if you're in that mix, join me on the journey and subscribe. And while you're at it, tap on that thumbs up button for me to let me know that this is the actual content that you're looking for and that you came here for in the first place. With that, monthly paying dividend stock number three, a never before mentioned dividend stock on the channel, we have Rio Can ticker symbol R-I-O-C-F, which is engaged not just in retail spaces, but the development management an entire operation of shopping centers, which predominantly center around grocery stores along with mixed use and non-grocery anchored centers with a history of development dating all the way back to 1981. And right now, Rio Can can be yours for the lowest of prices here at just $13.16 per share. That's down by over 10.3% year to date. Now, important for you to note is that Rio Can Given the nature of their business in building out shopping centers and such centers along with malls are going through really dynamic industry shifts thanks to e-commerce trends, we can see that the stock really hasn't moved all too much since a decade ago, only up 1.46%. However, it does have a forecasted share price coming in 17.68% higher than where it is now today to $15.51 per share. And that's with favorable insider signals as well here from the chairman and director level insiders purchasing shares about a month ago, which certainly does indicate a brighter future, at least from where those insiders sit. But again, I would certainly just given the nature of the business, advise caution with this particular investment. However, it comes in with the highest yield out of the three stocks mentioned today at 5.97% worth of a dividend yield, a dividend safety score on Simply Safe of just 60. That means it's only borderline safe. And we can scroll down here to see some other metrics. Most importantly here, we got to take a look at this dividend streak only about a year. Yet we do see here that that dividend growth rate is coming in at 5.9% since February. Now, as for that big question that I wanted to ask you from the get-go of this video, are monthly dividend stocks really worth it? Are quarterly paying dividend stocks better? Does it matter at all? comment down below to let me know and of course i want to know the dividend stocks that you have within your portfolio that do pay monthly drop all those comments down below if you are looking for more dividend insights you're going to find them all right here but of course make sure you're subscribed so you never miss another dividend stock idea